Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Life in the ADK and I wanted to share this story real quick because it just happened tonight and I wanted to make sure that you were aware of it so uh, if a scam comes across that you can prepare yourself and know what to do and know what not to do. So my husband and I are coming home from uh, Saranac Lake. We are headed home to here to Old Forge and my phone rings in between Long Lake and Blue Mountain Lake and it's my bank and um, they are asking about these fraudulent uh, charges that they perceive they think they're fraudulent charges that I make them I get this from time to time and about every three years I actually have to replace the card because the card's been compromised for whatever reason no I didn't make these charges do you have your credit card with you yes I do um when was the last time you used it did you use it in any you know we're going through the whole the, all the steps okay we're going to reset your account we're going to do this blah 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 we just sent you a text what is the what does that number say and I gave them what the number said and then the call got dropped and I'm like, it's because we're in between, there's hit and miss in there. Um, and so the call, they call back from the same number. Um, I go through this again. Okay, we sent you this, we sent you another text. What does that text say? I answered. And then all of a sudden I get a text, uh, another text from my bank saying, we have locked your account due to uh, potentially um, fraudulent uh, activity. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's why I'm on the phone with you. Um, so... Uh, that call gets dropped again, and I immediately turn around and call the bank back. Turns out the people I were talking to were the scammers. My bank account had never been messed with. Nobody had ever touched it or done anything with it, but they presented it as if they had. The numbers that I was reading off to them, even though it wasn't a bank account number, not my personal number, not my social security number or address or any of that, gave them the in to change my uh, password to my bank account and lock me out of it. Uh, it also gave them the right to put themselves on that account. But because I turned around and called back immediately, which I'm glad I did and not wait till I got home to Old Forge, uh, they were able to lock the account down, make sure that no money had been moved, nothing had been touched, and everything is good. So I'm sharing this with you because sweet Pamela uh, at my bank was the one that informed me that this is the new scam, which is they call to, to pretend like they are the bank. Um, and that's how they get your get into Get, gain access to your account. So if a bank calls you, hang up, don't talk to them, and turn around and call them back. Uh, don't call them back to the number that they called you from. Call back an actual bank number that's listed in the book on Google, somebody that you know that's the actual bank, and that's how you can avoid that scam. Lesson learned.